Morgan. Hey guys, I'm Sarah. Welcome to Crafty Friday here on So Craftastic. Today we're making squishies. If you're new to my channel, you might be like, oh my gosh, she's jumping on the squishy bandwagon. But actually, I made a cake slice two years ago when there was another squishy craze going on. So if you have not seen that video yet, I'll put a link in the description box below. No cake today, but we are doing gemstones slash diamonds that are really cool. And you can use them as a stress ball or room decor. Before we get into the video, don't forget to press the red subscribe button down there and get our So Craftastic family to 2 million subscribers by the end of summer. That would be so awesome. I really, really just want to take pictures with balloons. That is my dream for this summer. So please help me get there before the weather gets too cold. And because, you know, it would be great to grow our family and have more viewers. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for the video. Now, let's get into it. For this DIY, you'll need a squishy sponge or some polyfoam. Mine looks super old because it is. Hey, it still works and I'm not wasting craft supplies. So I'm taking a pair of scissors and cutting a rectangle out of this thick piece of foam. Make sure it's bigger than the size you want the squishy to actually turn out because a lot gets cut away during the shaping process. I began by snipping off all four corners at an angle, then continued to make angled downward cuts all around to start forming the point at the bottom of the diamond. Be sure to do this part slowly and remove only a tiny bit of foam at a time so you don't mess up the shape. It's really easy to accidentally cut a gash out of it, so just go slow. Once it looks something like this and has a defined point, go ahead and start shaping the top. Do this by rounding off the edges like so. There should be a defined separation between the pyramid-like shape and the smooth band at the top. It should kind of look like a circus tent, I guess. I don't know how else to explain it. The final stage of shaping is to curve the sponge inward all around the tip top by trimming off very tiny pieces at a slight angle. Go back and smooth out any imperfections. Then, when you're happy with the shape, it's time to move on to the paint. I'm using fabric paint because it won't crack after it dries and gets squished all around. It kind of forms to the shape of the sponge. You can use just one color or mix a few. I like to add some glitter paint for a bit of sparkle. Then I combine the colors with a toothpick and swirl them all around. I found that the easiest way to paint the sponge is actually with your fingers. Just be sure to wear gloves because it gets really messy and it would take a while to wash paint off your bare skin. So this way is a lot quicker than it would be if you used a paintbrush. And you can also dip the sponge in paint, but be extra careful that you don't cover it with too thick of a layer or it won't be as squishy at the end. I actually made this diamond here a few weeks ago. You can see my nails are a different color and a lot of them aren't broken. I'm really sad that they all ripped off. But anyway, I used way too much paint on this one. You'll see what I mean later when I do a squish test. My mom was over and wanted to try to make her own, so I did give her some pointers on how to do it, but she cut the shape without me demonstrating, and I think it turned out pretty good. Now you'll want the paint to dry completely before using them or moving on to adding detail. So I let mine sit overnight with a thin coat of paint that's plenty. You might need to let them sit longer if you use a lot of paint. But anyway, I'm gonna paint on some lines. You probably figured out by now it's not easy to make crisp cuts to a sponge. The shape is more rounded than an actual diamond would be. So for this step, I'm painting lines to make the squishy appear more geometric and a little bit more realistic. But this step is completely optional. You can just leave it as is if you want to. As soon as the paint is fully dry, your gemstones are ready for a life full of squishing. You can see the pink gem is much more squishy than the blue one because I used only one thin layer of paint on that pink one. As I mentioned at the beginning, if you want to make other types of squishies, I do have a video on how to make these cake slices that are adorable. I actually used acrylic paint on these and they seem to be fine so it can be done. Now back to the diamonds, what color are you going to make your squishy? Follow me on Instagram at T to show me a photo of yours. You can use hashtag SoCraftastic. And if you don't have an Instagram, you can always share photos on my other social media pages, Twitter, Crafty Amino, or Facebook. All those links are in the description box below. Thank 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the squishy tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and like I said, don't forget to subscribe. We are getting closer to 2 million and I'm so excited. Hashtag so craftastic 2, 2 million. I did mention that I painted the cake slice with acrylic paint and that it wasn't cracking. I do want to clarify that the main part of the cake is not cracking, but if you do paint on the extra stripe here of frosting, that does tend to crack a tiny bit. So that's why fabric paint is a better option, just for those of you who are wondering. If you didn't see, a few days ago I posted a planner supply haul where I showed my new planner, some stickers, and washi tape. I'll put that video as well as a few others up in this i button over here so you can click it and they'll come down. Also, I just filmed a mail haul, so you'll be seeing that within the next week or two, along with the regular Crafty Friday video. Videos, of course. To keep up with my daily behind the scenes life, you can follow me on my social media accounts including Snapchat, Instagram, my Facebook fan page, and Twitter. I'll link all that stuff below. And I will hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> I hope to see you guys back here next Friday for another DIY video here on my channel. Have a great rest of the day. Bye! Random fact, I trimmed my hair today on my own. It was probably almost two inches longer. It was to there. It was ridiculous. Leo's staring at me. Come here, Leo. Come here, Leo. Come here. What's that? What is that? It's you. Anything else? Anything else?